This step-by-step -step service tutorial will guide you through the removal and installation of the Danfoss TurboCore Bearing PWM module. Safety precautions must be observed during installation, startup, and service of the compressor due to the presence of pressure and voltage hazards. Only qualified and trained personnel should install, startup, and service Danfoss TurboCore compressors. Before performing any service on a Danfoss TurboCore compressor, electrical power must be isolated. Turn off the mains input power to the compressor and lock out, tag out the mains disconnect. Isolate compressor power and wait for the LEDs on the back plane to turn off. Carefully pull the serial driver straight out of the back plane. Carefully pull the BMCC straight out of the back plane connector. Loosen the fasteners that hold the retaining clips over the front and rear PWM connectors. If this is a PWM with Molex connectors, you will only need to disconnect the Molex connector from the bearing power cable clip. Remove the PWM connectors from the front and rear bearing power feed-throughs. Be sure to note the orientation of both connectors to ensure they are reinstalled the same way. Remove the fasteners below the PWM that secure the heatsink to the compressor housing. Pull the bearing PWM amplifier straight out from the backplane. Check that the ground screw at the lower right of the backplane is tight before replacing the PWM. Ensure heat conductive paste is applied to the contacting surface of the PWM heatsink. Align the heatsink of the PWM with the two guide pins in the main compressor housing. Insert the PWM into the J1 connector of the backplane. Secure the heatsink of the PWM to the main compressor housing with three fasteners. Torque to 4 Newton meters or 35 inch pounds. Ensure the heatsink of the PWM is firmly seated against the main compressor housing. Place the two PWM connectors on the front and rear bearing feed throughs in the correct orientation and secure the retaining clips over them. Torque to 4 Newton meters or 35 inch pounds. If this is a PWM with Molex connectors, you will only need to connect the Molex connector to the bearing power cable clip. Reinstall the BMCC. Reinstall the serial driver. Inspect all connections. Reinstall the service side cover. This concludes the Danfoss TurboCore PWM module removal and installation presentation. For more information on Danfoss TurboCore products and service documentation, please visit us online at turbocore.com.